he calls me and says, Deepa, can you bring your husband and a bag with some clothes and come morning 6 a.m. to the hospital? Then he said, your cancer has relapsed to stage 4 and it has spread to six parts of your body. When I got this cancer right first time, I said, what? What is cancer? I didn't know because I don't have anyone in my family, history, friends who has cancer. So I was in the ICU in the second day, my respiratory doctor comes very early. Then she said, okay, you have a cancer, it's a stage one. They said, you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't eat seafood also. Your family doesn't have a cancer, your genes doesn't have a cancer. So it just happens. Then I didn't know what chemo is. Then she told me all the advantage, disadvantage. And I said, okay, fine, do. So I used to go all alone for my chemo. My condition, I never told anyone. Only my parents. Only when there is a big like doctor analysis, like whenever anything major doctor has to say, like I would ask my son and husband both, whoever can come. Because there was an issue when I came to Singapore, I came all alone after marriage. When they know that in the family, somebody is going alone and staying there, you know, it's a culture thing. They always will think lung cancer, they will believe that I'm a smoker or a drinker. At least in Singapore, there is awareness now. Even now in India, there is no awareness. So that's the reason I never told anyone until now. By March 2017, I was fine, happy, went back to office. The moment they stopped my chemo, after three weeks, I got singles. Within three months, I started getting leg pains. It was not easy. Uh, almost I saw six to seven orthopedic doctors. So they did everything, whatever was possible in Singapore. Very difficult for doctors to figure it out. But last doctor said, okay, it's now is almost five months over. Your things are not improving. Day by day, you're not able to walk. That was the time Then he said, okay, there's something called PET scan. You don't have to worry. You just go, you lie down within an hour or so. And after that, he calls me and says, Deepa, can you bring your husband and a bag with some clothes and come morning 6 a.m. to the hospital? Then I said, 6 a.m. doctor, what's going on? What was in my report? And he said, your cancer has relapsed to stage four and it has spread to six parts of your body. The survival rate is only 5% for lung cancer. When the second relapse happened, I told my doctors, give me just one hour, I need to go to office. Tell my senior boss what is happening with me. This is what the treatment is. And doctor said, I need to take leave. I said, my intention is I want to work. The only thing I would request to you is do not retrench me or throw me out of medical reason. I'm okay if you don't do salary increment, if you don't do my bonuses. And he said, I'm fine with your work. You're still getting your bonus and you're still top three in your group. A return to work program from Singapore Cancer Society has basically motivated and helped me in a lot many different ways than what it says not from work related, but also friends, colleagues, family, with all the different kind of stress that you can think of it. And yes, I got the support from Singapore Cancer Society. My cancer relapse is like five times. This support group uh, and the committee is very important to me because uh, I can motivate other persons, keep them positivity, share my journey, by 2020, I had already got the side effects of radiation. So my left shoulder and left arm had a severe pain and I had a nerve burn, skin burn. I had a speech issue. Uh, by that time, I had a brain surgery also because of my relapse and I lost my 30% of my memory. So I lost some things which cannot be repaired. I just have to live with that. My son comes and talks to me and he tells, Mama, do you know that I'm prepared? If something happens to you, I'm not going to give up my life. You don't have to think that I having a cancer, if I die, my son will struggle in his life. He said, your husband also thinks in the same way. This sentence, the way I took it was like, 
he is giving you motivational positive thought and including that return to work program doesn't mean that you have a cancer and you can just let go your work but still work and live life normally <laughs>